Percy, I came to you in my youth, starved for purpose, hungry for understanding, and you taught me the ways of hunter and prey. You shaped me, took my body and soul and made them your weapons. You gave me strength when I had none, called my blood back to the days before Avery stilled us. Hercene, lend me your teeth, that I may rend myself asunder and drag my poisoned shadows into your moonlight. Lend me your strength, that I may endure. My arrow is your spear, Lord Hercene. May it strike ever true. Never thought I'd be back here again. So much happened in that one cave. Huh. What could that be? Yeah, of course. Who made that noise? I knew I heard something. Ah, cutters. Remember me? One would have thought they'd have given up after the first try. And apparently one would be wrong. Irks me to see that they're still here. And so close to the old stomping grounds. Doesn't that figure? Trolls.
There is Boomer. Now, let's see if I can still remember where everything is. As though I could forget. Who's this? investigating. Ah, uh, this is starting to look familiar. I think I'm on the wrong side, though. There's the watchtower. Yep. That's where it all happened. <laughs> wow. Still has burn marks. I guess it hasn't been that long. Dead Imperial. You, sir, seem to have met with the ghosts of my past. Or maybe just wolves. Looks like somebody's here. Are they back? No. The Dark Brotherhood wouldn't keep wolves. Would they?
Well, this is a mess, isn't it? They have absolutely made a mess of the place. What was that? I knew I heard something. I can't say as I'm surprised, frankly. Bandits. More bandits. Not the good kind, either. It's been a long time since I've seen Kalovi, Lovenry. I'm not interested in any of their junk. Just this. Keep jumping. Oh, I do believe that's the first time I've ever gotten a troll in the eye. this little chamber. I remember sitting down at the bottom of the waterfall and, well, meditating. Among other things. Teaching the younger generation how to, uh, tolerate the cold better. This really has just collapsed, hasn't it? Well, I suppose, what else would I expect? Eh, I remember that. I wonder how much, uh, how much the Dark Brotherhood is still like the Thalmor in that regard. Torturing people. I suppose.
for all time's sake. Lady of Whispers, I came to you in darkness, begged for your aid when the hunter had abandoned me. When the spiders had me trapped in their webs, I asked you not to cut me free, but to change me. You showed me how to be one of them. You watched me twist in their image and reveled in my betrayal. Lady of Whispers, I come to you again in darkness and ask you to show me why. Why you taunt me with specters and pull on those threads the Thalmor left in my skin, in my voice. My blade is yours. I serve no void. Enough of this. You know I don't do formalities. Why did you let her die? She was your listener. They killed her for watching the coffin of your... What? Priestess? Avatar? You've not given so much as a murmur since. And yet Cicero lives. He showed back up with that very coffin that got the listener killed in Breville, claiming to be its keeper. Why? Are you looking for another listener? Is this supposed to be a sign that you're finally stepping in? Or are you just tormenting me for your own amusement? Yes, I made a mistake. And I've paid for it a hundred times over. You made damn sure my voice is a constant reminder. Well, I'm back. Back to where everything turned to ash in my hands and I'm not going to run this time. What do you want from me? And this had better be about me or about Cicero because I know you know about Zamari and I will not have her be another Alisan. Scene's teeth, why? Why won't you just speak? Whisper. Do you want someone to take down Astrid? I... I'm not sure I could do it. I can't put Zimari in danger. I couldn't make Cicero face something like that again. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero, such a humble servant, but he will never hear my voice, for he is not a listener. Oh, but I will speak, I will speak to you, to you for you are the one. Me? But I'm... Yes, you, my dear Ingrath. Beautiful, broken Ingrath. You who keep the old way. You who have become the vulture. You, the last true executioner. Who yet kills in my name. My true name. Mephala. But I betrayed the Brotherhood. I'm the reason it fell. I'm the reason... I'm the reason she's dead. I could have... You have been lost for so long. You have so many questions, but listen now, just listen. I give you this task, journey to Valenrood, 
speak with a man about Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. It will be done. Good. I've been waiting. Oh, this must be it. Volenrude. Well, that bodes well, doesn't it? Now, where would he be? Not in there, I'd wager. Nope, this door is sealed tight. So he'll be somewhere easy, I would imagine. Like this. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Right then, you prefer to listen, is that it? Well, you must represent the Dark Brotherhood. I certainly wasn't expecting anyone else. So, I'll cut right to the chase. I would like to arrange a contract, several actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Let me get this straight. You performed the Black Sacrament. And chose to meet me here. Because you want to kill the Emperor of Tamriel. Is that right? That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your... superior. Rexus? The items. <laughs> My superior, huh? Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Oh, lovely. 
Anything else? Is there something else you need? A few things. Can you trust your servant to keep the secret? Or am I going to have to cut off a loose end early? Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. Are you really a Mon Motier? Or... Do you just represent him? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Well... Is this no longer so? No, I'm just baffled that it worked. But you didn't hear that from me. Why would you have the Emperor assassinated? In the year 3E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Well, that's all I needed, Amand. You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out of this foul place. Yes. Of course. My superior. Take care. Oh, and try not to let the Draugr bite you on the way out. I'm not going mad. I'm not going mad. Oh, gods, I really am the listener. He really was here. Just as my father told me. Well, at least home is nearby. I can panic in peace. Well, I suppose there really is no one better fit for that role, is there? Mafala's Vulture, the Listener. Hercene's Hunter. I can take some solace in knowing that after all this time, there is, in fact, a listener. And that it's not Zimari. Good. Thank you for your mercy, Night Mother. You don't really want me calling you that, huh? I would hope not. A new day is dawning. Darkness rises when silence dies.
And I do believe the silence has finally been broken. Astrid is going to have a cow. <laughs> if she finds out. Ooh. This what you want, huh? Oh, bastard. Idiot. Grima somewhere, didn't I? Well, she's a patient horse. Maybe it's time to do something about this armor. <laughs> 